Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today I'm working on a little project um, that I thought about. I'd seen um, something similar on Pinterest. And when the new Stampin' Up! catalogue came out for demonstrators, um, this is the catalogue here. Now this doesn't go on sale until next Tuesday the 4th of August. So anything that you might um, see demonstrated throughout YouTube or whatever um, from this catalogue, you can't order until the 4th of August no matter where you are in the world. But anyway, this um, die set has a little bird in it. It's called the um, Bird of Hope. It has a stamp set that goes with it. And it also has this um, little bird here that you can piece. And he has two little wing dies as well. But as soon as I saw those dies, I knew that they would be suitable for angels. Um, and because I doll make, I thought about... Uh, the fact that they would make beautiful doll wings. Anyway, so today's project is going to be using those two wing dies. We're not going to use the rest of the bird, so I'm just going to pop this away. Now, if you don't know what a metal die is, and I know that some people that follow my channel are sewers um, and not necessarily paper crafters, but I want to tell you what they are. They are a specific piece of metal that is made to go through a press machine, which will then cut out It'll cut fabric, but it'll also cut paper and the like. And these are a Stampin' Up! design, these ones. So they usually bring out a stamp set and then they'll bring out a coordinating die set. So this is the actual stamp set here that it goes with. Um, but these wings um, are a standalone die in the set, so you would use them just on their own. So what I came up with was these. They are just truly adorable. They're little Christmas ornaments. They are little angel wings um, and you can just hang them from your tree or you can hang them on the wall or you can hang them on a parcel. Uh, you can hang them anywhere. Now the bling that is in the middle of these is also in the new catalogue. It's um, a little pack of 18 of them. I think they're about $14 which is Australian. Um, and you get, you get them all in this little container. Now I know a lot of you have been asking me about where to purchase bling from. Well, as of next Tuesday the 4th, if you go to my craftwithfee.com and then go to my Stampin' Up! store, you'll be able to order these. And they are called Beaded Pearls. But if you didn't want to wait till then and you want to put your order in with me, you can just send me a message and I can get in touch with you and we can um, do a pre-order and I can have it ready to go and put it straight through for you on the 4th of August. Now, if you are ordering from my online Stampin' Up! store, don't forget to use the hostess code that's there. There's always one there for every month. Um, and that will help entitle you to some free goodies at the end of the month when you use that code. So, okay, let me show you how I made it. Now, obviously, there is only the one set of dies. And you can see here that I've made two dies, uh, sorry, two wings that are directional. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I haven't pre-cut these because I wanted to be able to show you live how you do it. So we're going to use some blue glimmer paper. Now, the glimmer paper that Stampin' Up! Um, make is absolutely gorgeous. Now, they only at the moment have this blue available in the new Christmas catalogue. They don't have any other colours in stock anymore. They've taken them all away. I'm not sure why, because I have a great stash of them and they are adorable. So the pink that I've used here is, um, is no longer being sold. Luckily, I've got quite a bit of it, but I still do love the blue just as much. So the blue comes in a pack of two 12-inch by 12-inch sheets, and it's a beautiful quality glitter. It's not like a lot of the brands of glitter that drop glitter um, everywhere. Of course, it does drop a little bit, but nowhere near like other brands. And we also have um, our brushed metal paper as well, and that's in the annual catalogue. These don't have a high gloss like some papers. They have like a brushed metal look, and we're going to use the silver today. So let me grab my machine. Now, these machines are also going to be available in September to purchase. We've got our own brand new version of one of these types of machines coming out. This is a non-stamping up one that I've got, um, but I'm very much looking forward to getting the stamping up version when it comes. So we're going to cut the forward um, version of both wings to begin with. So we're going to put the die straight down on top of the paper that we want to cut. And you can see there that that's a pretty simple process. We just put it through the roller. Um, and I usually go back the other way as well. 
and make sure that it's cut really well. And you can see there that it actually cuts out all of those little pieces and we'll poke those out in a moment. And that's our background piece as well. Okay, we'll just get rid of those. And I just need to get my take your pick tool and just poke this so that it lifts out. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the reverse. So we need to turn our paper over. That's as simple as it is doing the reverse way. The only thing with doing the reverse cutting method is if you're using a die that has a bit of embossing, and you can see here on the edge of that wing it has a bit of embossing, you're not going to get that on the right side. But that's a very small sacrifice to make to be able to make the reverse of an image. I figure. Okay. So there we go. So now we have the reverse. You can see there that that is the reverse image. And the same with the wing. So what we'll do is you can use uh, Stampin' Ups. They've got a little brush that you can roll across these to get out all the little pieces. Um, but I'm just going to sit there and just poke them out very, very quickly while I'm talking to you. So these little Christmas ornaments, as I said, they're very, very shabby, chic. Um, I just adore them. I've been wanting to make something similar for such a long time. And as I said, as soon as I saw that die set, I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to have those angel wings. Even though they're a dove wing, to me, they are a, an angel wing. Okay, so that's one. So these come out very easy. That's the um, the nice thing about buying quality dies is that that they cut perfectly all the time. Some of the cheaper dies that you can purchase, the ones that come from AliExpress and places like that, they um, don't cut as well and they don't cut um, over a long period of time. So the more you use a die, the worse it's going to be. Not so the case with the Stampin' Up! ones. They're made of very good quality steel. And, uh, yeah, they're great. Okay, I've just got to clean this workspace. We don't want all these little bits everywhere. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop them together. So that's just a matter of gluing the sets of wings on top of one another. And I'm just going to use a bit of liquid glue. And I'm just simply going to just dot it um, randomly. Now, you can, of course, use a... Um, adhesive sheet we now have those in our catalogue so what that means is that you would put your adhesive sheet onto your paper onto the back of your paper before you cut it so that when you cut it I uh, cut this fancy wing out it would then have a peel off piece and you would have a self-adhesive section it's really good for intricate really intricate dies um, or for lettering or any of those sort of things but that, that's um, really quite easy to glue, I think, so I wouldn't um, waste I wouldn't waste my adhesive on these. I think they're just, they'll glue up just fine. So I hung um, the other ones with our quarter inch white seam binding. You can colour your seam binding if you want to with our Stampin' Blend markers. So I could colour them to match this. This is balmy blue this uh, shimmer paper colour, I think, from memory. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so there we go. We have them done. Now, the other thing that I did was I just made a little one-inch circle. I've got a one-inch pun circle punch. It's not um, in the annual catalogue anymore. It's been retired, but if you've got a circle die, around about a one-inch diameter, just to use on the back, just to, to tidy up your area on the back. So what we're going to do is to attach our little wings like that. And we're going to pop with some feathers on the background. And um, then we're going to use this just to cover up the stuff on the back. Now I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. You can use whatever glue you prefer. Um, I just think that the hot glue gun is going to give it a nice quick bond. Um, and think that's better even though <laughs> the hot glue gun does terrify me now I have a jar here full of feathers I picked these up from spotlight here in Australia 
$5.95, I think, for a lovely pastel um, variety. So we might do a blue version of this. The other one we did was a white one. So, And all I did was I just trimmed the feather so that I was getting them around about the same height. <clears throat> I've been having trouble with my voice. It keeps giving out. Maybe I'm talking too much. That could be the problem. Okay, so as I said, a quarter inch white seam binding. I'm going to leave it white for the purpose of this project. Just yeah, nip, nip off a bit. I'm going to use 22 centimetres, which is four inches. And we'll just double that over. Okay, so the first thing, hopefully my gun is um, heated up enough now. We're just going to glue them together. So we're just going to pop a little bit of glue just there. And you can get them in the direction that you want them. I think that's... I might just tuck a little bit more glue under there just to be sure. There we go. So we have them stuck together there and the shimmer paper glues pretty well. It's pretty strong with the um, hot glue gun. So the next thing we're going to do is to glue on our ribbon. So we're just Another little dab. Be careful you don't burn yourself. As I said, they have a habit of biting these things. I often use my tweezers. I probably should have them there. Okay, so now we're going to put a dab of glue there and then we're quickly going to put in our first feather. And the best way to do that is to hang it from the front so you can see what it's going to look like. And then just press it down. Okay, and so we've put our next piece of feather on as well. I think that one can go there. You can see it sticks to everything, this feathering. I did go and get myself a cup of coffee and uh, one of the cats decided to come down and help themselves to the feathers out of the jar. I left the lid off. So that wasn't very clever. Okay, so I think that's fine from the front. And you can give them a bit of a haircut if you don't want the feathers poking out the side there. Um, I'm just going to sort of sort of train them down a little bit like that. That's fine. And then this is what the circle is for. So we just get this circle and pop a bit of hot glue all over it. And then we're just quickly going to press that down. And then you can just meld it over the back there. It just tidies it up so that it looks looks quite neat on the back there. So there we go. So all we're left to do now is to apply our little bling pieces or piece. So we're going to use the beaded pearls. As I said, these will be available on Tuesday the 4th until stocks last. Um, I think they're adorable. So just a little dab of glue and then you can just center it on your little wings. And there you go. What a gorgeous little Christmas ornament. They are just so sweet. So as I said, you can make as many as you want. That die, you can just you can cut hundreds if that's what you desire. So as I said, if you have um, any issues at all, just get in touch with me. If, if you'd like to order it and you don't want to forget, on the 4th of August, let me know and I can do it for you. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.